Good, good um, afternoon fellow YouTube viewers, Watch94 just here with a video on um, iOS 8.1.3 update available on iDevices across the I iOS range that support iOS 8. Um, to, I don't know if it happened today or yesterday, but Apple have released a new update, iOS 8.1.3. And this, this update includes bug fixes, this includes bug fixes, incre increased stability and performance improvements, so I'm assuming that's also for the older devices like the iPhone 4S, iPod Touch 5, 5th generation, I mean, iPad Mini 1, iPad 2. So just overall improvements, stability improvements, so I'm assuming an 8.2, an 8.2 update will be coming out in the next near future for around when the release of the Apple Watch is coming. I don't know when the Apple Watch is going to be released, but yep, this is going to be some awesome, will be awesome when it comes out, obviously, guys. So, yeah, so, well, I've done the update on the iPhone 6. So we can, we'll have a look at how it performs and how it runs certain apps, like we'll do the camera, um, any like any changes or anything that's happened. But I doubt there won't be any like huge changes, and find out if it's really worth updating. Probably, but if you're jailbroken, I probably wouldn't update. I'll stick to 8.1.2. Well, if you have accidentally updated, I'd be, I'll be quickly downloading the IPSW file for iOS 8.1.2 because I'll probably say you'll still be able to downgrade for a little while until they close. 8.1.2 because I, I am not sure if you're able to jailbreak from iOS 8.1.3 so at the moment my iPad mini is, is stuck on iOS 8.1.2 which I did the other day so it's good that I did it just in time before they released this update now yeah so what I'm going to do is now is show you how the device performs with the new update Hi guys, so iPhone 6 here so I'll just unlock it So that's, that's just an image. I took a screenshot because I'm yep, so done. Now we'll quit out of that. I'll open in the settings. I'm just going to show it's running. Go general if I can get it. Um, about. And as you can see right there, if I can focus it in. Filming on my iPad mini first generation, guys, so it's probably not going to be the best video quality in the world, but yeah. So that is running iOS 8.1.3. So first of all, speedy. It's not much different between iOS 8.1.2. If you don't really want to update, you probably you can stick with 8.1. Um, if I can get this to come up, I have issues getting that to come up. I'll lock that and see if anything has changed. It's because this case, guys, are fine issues of it coming up. Okay. Nothing's changed here. It's all the same. Uh, nothing's changed here. It's all the same, too. Um, let's have a look. Settings. It's all the same. Scrolling is not too bad. This is on an iPhone 6, so... So it's not too bad. I've got a battery thing on the iPad. Let's get that off. Sorry, guys. Um, we'll open up camera. Okay, that is staring at the iMac right now. You probably don't see this very good, but it's not. It's not. There's no really lag. It's, it runs a lot. So, so the camera's not too bad. I'll take a quick photo of the screen, for example. Not bad. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, Siri. Hi, Siri.
bit slow today. Just taking the time. I uh, won't worry about the Siri then. So yeah, as I can, I'm just gonna wrap it up. There's nothing overall changed here. Like, like, like that's a good feature. But yeah, it's all the same. It's up to you if you want to update. But if you want to have all the latest security and all that, I'd recommend you update. But if you're jailbreaking, don't bother updating for now until we get a, a, a new jailbreak video comes out. And if you want more information, I recommend you watch Ice I Crack Your Device because he, he's, I call him the Apple Man or the Tech Man because he is always over with all the Apple news and information and rumours. So I'll end this video now. I hope you've enjoyed and given you an idea whether you want to upgrade to iOS 8.1.3 at all or not. It's not, it's not a major update, just a little behind the, in, like behind the scenes improvement. So you won't notice any change difference. It's not, nothing different to iOS 8.1.2. So yeah, I'll wrap the video up now and I'll see you in the next video.